Right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's bedtime again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. And that completes your homework assignment. So this is all due when? The end of the school year? That's tomorrow, Mr. Anderson. By the time I was eight years old, I learned that there were three constants in life. Homework, donuts, and a sweater from Grandma every year on my birthday. Uh, how original, Grandma. Oh, isn't that a beauty? Stunning. You know, your grandmother needed that herself. With what? Her feet? <laughs> the thing about Grandma's sweaters was, you couldn't just stick them in a dark place and forget about them. Oh, no. Grandma's sweaters were the gift that kept on giving. You finish your thank you note to your Grandma yet? Sure. Where is it? It's all up here. I just have to put it down on paper. Louie, your grandmother knitted that whole sweater by hand. I know. can I write it tomorrow? I'm supposed to be over at Toddler's now. We're going bowling. Okay, tomorrow. Of course, everyone knows the law of the thank you note. The longer you put off writing them, the harder they are to write. Come on, Louie. We're late for kickball. Louie. I'll finish it after the kickball game. As soon as I get back from the movies. I'm writing the thank you note right now. I swear. Mom, you all right? Mom? Louie, we need to have a talk. It's about your grandmother. to my daughter, Aura. I leave my collection of family photographs. Oh, great. That seems fair. Keith gets the house, Sammy gets the car, we get the pictures. I mean, nothing like a picture to remember a loved one, dear. <clears throat> and to Andy Anderson, I give the biggest honor I have to give. What's that, her twine collection? I want you to deliver the eulogy at my funeral. What? I don't believe it. Right, Andy? You're honored. Took the word right out of my mouth. I don't understand. You finished the thank you note, right? Yeah, but I didn't send it in time. And now, I'll never get to thank Grandma for the sweater. Why don't you just send it to our new address? Because she's not alive anymore. And that means she doesn't have an address? Come on, Louie. You just need to find out where Grandma went and send it to the new address. Hmm. Huh. You're smarter than you look, Tommy. Hey, Dad, you busy? Just trying to come up with something nice to say about your grandmother. Uh, this could take years. I got a question for you. They call me the answer man. Ask away. All right, let's see. Grandma uh, is with God. Hey, satisfied? Sure. Where's God? What? Uh, well, God's everywhere. So, Grandma's everywhere? Exactly. Is she back at her house? Well, I uh, know. Well, is she in our house? Uh-uh. Not there either. Is she outside then? Nope. Well, and she's not exactly everywhere, is she? Uh, correct. Any more questions? Yeah. Where's Mom? Finally, one I can answer. Your mother's down at the church making arrangements for Grandma's funeral. We'll make this a beautiful ceremony, Mrs. Anderson. Thank you. Mm. Hey, go easy on me. I'm just a kid. Gee. Hey, you. <laughs> uh, how's everything? Okay. What's in there? There? That's where you go to talk to God. Duh. Everyone knows that. What'd you do to make him so mad? 
Call him a loser. Hello? Well, how can I help you, my son? Well, you can start by not scaring me like that. Hey, are you the big guy? Oh, well, I'm not that big guy. I work for the big guy. And what is your name? Louis. Louis Anderson? My grandmother died. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Louis. Why? It wasn't your fault. I need to know where she went. Well, she went to heaven. Finally, we're getting somewhere. What's the address? The address? <laughs> the address for heaven. A post office box, street number, you know. I, I don't think heaven has an address. They have to get their mail, don't they? Magazines, newspapers. I mean, how does anybody even find heaven without an address? Those are good questions, Louis. Uh, I'm going to go and find someone who can answer all your questions. I'll be right back. Mm. Uh, Father McCarthy, uh, a little help over here, if you please. Hi, Louis. How's your mother doing? I heard the bad news. I'm so sorry. She's all right. Hey, you're all dressed up. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Mrs. Stillman? Temple Beth Israel, down the street. Well, what do you do there? It's Friday night services. We pray. So you're going there to talk to God, right? Yeah, I guess I am. Good. Hey, mind if I tag along? Everyone's welcome. Where'd she go? Someplace good. Think you could be a little more specific? I can't, and I wouldn't want to be. The world to concentrate on, Louis, is this one. Just know that your grandmother went to a place that you and I, we can't even begin to imagine it. Come on, Reb. You know how it works. Without a zip code, this puppy's not going anywhere. This place, is it heaven? Some rabbis say yes, some rabbis say no. Well, I need extra stamps. Is it nearby? Can she see us from there? Mm. Some rabbis say yes. Some rabbis say no. Well, what do you say? Me? Hmm. I say that some rabbis say yes, and some rabbis say no. Oh, man, I knew you were going to say that. You're a smart boy, Louis. You'll figure that out. Let's see. Henrietta Sherman was, uh... Never missed a meal, uh... This is impossible! I don't know what to say. I'd have an easier time writing the eulogy for Stalin! <sighs> I'm sure you'll come up with something. Mother must have had her reasons for asking you to give her eulogy. Oh, yeah. She had her reasons, all right. She wanted to torment me from beyond the grave. Andrew. I'm sorry, dear. <sighs> It's just, uh, it's a lot of pressure, you know. And it's not like there's a lot of material here to work with. Think of the things Mother liked to do. That's a good idea, honey. Let's see. Things Grandma liked to do. Well, she liked to drive me nuts. That's one, huh? She liked to insult my cooking. That's a good one. And she made fun of everything I wore. Thanks, honey. I should have a eulogy in no time. From what you tell us, your grandmother was a good soul. She was the best. So, she is in paradise with God. Or as we call him, Allah. Allah. So you're saying I could send this in care of Allah? Is that one L or two? We believe she has gone to the celestial kingdom. Yeah, she's gone to Valhalla. Is that in Europe? Cleveland. The whole religion revolves around trying to get back to Cleveland. Interesting. It's a small religion, but it has its advantages. Like what? Well, for one, Cleveland's got a zip code. All right, tell me what you think of this. Uh, Grandma, she was a breath of fresh air on a hot, putrid day. What? No good, huh? Grandma had many fine qualities, but her finest quality was, without a doubt, her memory. She remembered every single mistake a guy ever made, and she never let him forget it. A little too sensitive, huh? A little too soft and mushy? Yeah, I hear ya. All right, that's gonna work someday. All right, 
one more time from the top. She was dead, but now she's back. How does that work? It's called reincarnation or samsara. It's one big cycle. Life followed by death, followed by rebirth, and then life again, followed by death. So she's not dead, she's just... Starting another life. You see, Louis, the soul never dies. Well, that's all fascinating, but, um, uh, pony up here, Ajawan. How does it help me? She might not be in this town. She might not be in this country. And she might not have come back as a baby. The cycle of rebirth can place the soul in any living creature. You're telling me she could be a bird? Uh-huh. A rabbit? Uh-huh. A goldfish in someone's bedroom? Any creature at all. Laura, what are you doing? I thought you were going to get some rest, honey. I will, right after I finish making dinner. I thought you already made tonight's dinner. But I did, this morning. And then I made all the dinners for next week, and the weekend, and this one's for a week from Tuesday. I see. You sure you don't want to lie down? I'm fine. Dear Grandma, thank you very much for the sweater. It was the greatest birthday gift ever! Are you guys getting any of this? Dear Grandma, thank you very much for the sweater. You have no idea what I'm saying, do you? Andy, I almost forgot to tell you. I was out in the garage today, and I reorganized all your tools for you. What? Hung them all in alphabetical order. What? Now oh, don't thank me. <laughs> One thing about Grandma, <laughs> she always did have a pretty good sense of humor. Uh -oh. Off to the races, everyone. Not me. I'm working the skate track. That's a real loss, Grandma. Could have used your muscle pushing my sled. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ah, I think I still got a scar from that day. Hmm. Something to remember you by, Grandma. Come on, give Grandma a big hug. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'll miss you a lot. I'm gonna miss you too, sweetheart. I'm gonna have to use words without a. <laughs> What's going on? It's Louie. He's going nuts. Grandma, thanks for the sweater. Are you Grandma? Thanks for the sweater. <laughs> Look at him. He thinks he's Doctor Doolittle. Hurry, <laughs> <laughs> Principal Halloran. I think Louie's really losing it. Don't stump on my caterpillar, Craig. Look out for that snail. Grandma? Grandma? Is that you, Grandma? Grandma, give me a wink or something. Come on, Louie. Why don't we take a little walk, you and I? I can't. What about Grandma? She'll be okay. Oh. I was so sorry to hear about your mother, Mrs. Anderson. How are you doing? We're all right. You look tired. Are you getting any sleep? Is Louie okay? I think he's having a hard time dealing with the loss of his grandmother. It's not easy for anyone. I know that. I just think Louis might need some special attention. He seems to have no idea whatsoever what death is about. Have you talked to him? I was hoping we could talk to him together. Louis, your mother and I were just talking about you and about your grandmother's... Do you understand what happened to Grandma Louie? Sure, she died. But what does that mean? Do you know? Well, to most of the world's religions, death is the beginning of some sort of afterlife, right? Some call it heaven, Ooh. others call it paradise or nirvana, Dan Eden, and there's even a few who call it Cleveland. The Hindus believe in reincarnation. That's the transmigration of souls. The Buddhists call it samsara. Beyond that, it gets a little fuzzy. Cleveland. <laughs> Interesting notion. Look into that. Someone's been busy. Where'd you learn all that? 
I asked around. I'm still confused, though. I know what every major religion in the world says about death, but I still don't know how to get this letter to Grandma. I think I might be able to help. Let's go. What are we doing here? Grandma doesn't live here anymore. I know. I want to show you something. See that? She kept those right next to her bed. Grandma loved all her grandchildren very much. But I know she had a special place in her heart for you. Then I let her down. I never sent her that thank you note. I didn't get to say thanks. What do you remember most about Grandma? Hmm. She always knew what I was thinking. I didn't even have to say anything. If there was something bothering me, if I was happy, she knew it. Just by looking at my face, she knew it. That's right. Grandma always knew. So don't you suppose wherever she is, Grandma knows what you're thinking right now? You gotta figure she knows you're thinking, thank you for the gift, and she knows you miss her. There you go, guys, be free. And hey, if uh, one of you happens to run into my grandma out there, tell her Louie said hi. What's going on, Aura? Morning already? No, it's just I've got some cooking to do. I need to make dinner. Honey, have you looked in the freezer? If the polar ice caps were to melt and flood the earth for three years, we still wouldn't miss a meal. I've got to do something. I can't sleep. I think you can. I'm just not tired. Oh, I think you are. Andy, I miss my mom. I <laughs> As requested, Andy Anderson, her son-in-law, will now say a few words. Andy? Look at all this. She really filled the place up. Hope I do half as well when I kick. Anyway, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out why my mother-in-law picked me to deliver her eulogy. Was she trying to punish me? Maybe. Embarrass me? Probably. Annoy me? Definitely. What I finally realized is Henrietta picked me because I wouldn't sugarcoat things. Or whisper a bunch of sweet nothings. No, Henrietta knew that whatever else I'd do, I'd tell the truth. Well, the truth is, Henrietta, or Granny as I like to call her, was one heck of a woman. She was lots of things. Tough. She was the toughest I've seen. And remember, I've been in combat. If we'd have had Granny in World War I, you can bet your best pair of loafers there wouldn't have been a sequel. She was also kind, and she was strong, and she could laugh. Usually she was laughing at me, but let's face it, usually I deserved it. Grandma was part of my family, and she still is. I see her in my wife, and I see her in every one of my kids. And every time I look at them, I know I'll always love Granny, and I'll always remember her. Dear Grandma, Thank you for the sweater. It was the best birthday gift I ever got. Not counting all the other ones you sent. I love you. I miss you. Louie. So did you ever find out where Grandma went when she died? Yep. Well, where is she? She's right there. And that's where she'll always be. Uh, Mr. Anderson, Austin Chambers here, attorney for your mother-in-law's estate. What now? Well, it seems there's been a small mistake. Apparently, I forgot to read the last page of the will. It contains her final request. You gotta be kidding me. There's more. According to the last page of her will, Mrs. Sherman's final request is that you pay all her legal bills. Hi. Thanks for your time, Mr. Anderson. You'll be hearing from me. I don't believe it. Sure, I'll take care of your bills, uh huh? But you just wait, we'll meet again. You better realize that, honey. I'll be looking for you up there, or wherever we are.